so you're uh, working with logitech g hub and it's not detecting your mouse now as you can see i clearly don't have the issue here myself but the first thing that you need to do and uh, is to go ahead and check logitech's website for supported devices and make sure that your mouse is actually supported not every mouse is supported by uh, g hub so if you have an older mouse or a mouse that isn't on logitech's official website as supported you're going to have to use the older software which is the logitech gaming software in order to use your mouse now if uh, your mouse is in fact supported and is not showing up here maybe it's showing up as inactive like this one is then this means uh, your mouse is either turned off which means it's run out of battery and the receiver is plugged into logitech uh, into your pc and logitech can detect that or uh, it's just inactive and you haven't moved it in a while uh, other than that if that's not working uh, you can always go ahead and restart g hub from scratch how do you do that well press windows key plus x to open up uh, this menu and in here we are going to access our task manager now once task manager loads up uh, i'm going to simply just search for g hub and you will see a background process and an app running just right click the background process end task uh, stop the background process first and then right click and end task for the g hub app as well and you will see that everything is now shut down so we have no g hub process running so now we can uh, open up the start menu again and now relaunch g hub and it should come back on and you should be able to see your mouse if that doesn't work either what you can do is uh, try and delete the ghub folder from uh, the windows app data storage what that does is uh, you can do this by pressing windows key plus r typing in app data and then pressing ok now this will open up uh, this folder and in here you will find a ghub folder like this if you double click this there are some uh, local storage files in here what we're going to do is uh, we're going to completely delete this folder from our systems and then we're going to restart ghub just like we saw how to do it right away that should get your mouse showing up that doesn't work either uh, then uh, it's time to move on to the device manager so press windows key plus x uh, to open up this menu again and this time click on the device manager once device manager opens up head over to mice and pointing device and you will see four hid compliant mice here uh, you may see more or less of these just right click and then click on uninstall device and then click uninstall in this warning again do it for all the different uh, mice that you have then unplug your mouse plug it back in again and it should start working without any issues last but not least if nothing else works your best bet is to simply go ahead and reinstall g hub how to do that well press windows key plus x and this time click on install apps all right so we're just going to search for g hub and uh, it's right here so we click these three dots then we click uninstall then we click uninstall again to remove g hub from our systems and then you can go ahead to logitech's official website download the latest version again and then uh, use that to detect your mouse alternatively you can also click on modify if this option appears here um, and uh, this will launch the logitech reinstaller automatically so uh, you can use this to either reinstall g hub or launch g hub and check for updates which is the process that we're going ahead with so we do that it opens up ghub it checks for updates and that should get your mouse up and running and detected into ghub if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you and if you have any questions any doubts if something didn't work out for you do let us know in the comments below and we can have a discussion going uh, if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website canada technology and if you need some one-on-one -on -one help to figure out not just ghub issues but anything else do consider getting a membership that's it for today. We'll see you in the next one.